Okay, so this works. Say hello if you can hear me. Say hello if you can hear me. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. I can't see any comments, so I can't see if people just aren't joining or if they're, it's not working. What do we think is going on? This wouldn't be the first issue I've had tonight. Hello, okay, okay, it's working. <laughs> okay, hello. Um, let me just tweet that I'm live because I was trying to get this to work on Instagram and it wasn't. I literally haven't been able to go live on Instagram. I did it like one time successfully and have not been able to do it since and I literally don't know why. So I didn't really think this was like worthy of a YouTube live, but I really wanted to do this live. So, so because Instagram didn't work, I'm going to do it on YouTube. Um, basically, I filmed a reorganizing video today, but I had a project that I didn't want to do in that video that I thought like would just be fun to do like in a live stream because I could like, it's going to take a while. Um, but yes, so we are going to do this together. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to tweet that I am live. Let us do that. Oh my gosh, can I reach my computer? You got a new album today, what did you get? I should tweet the link, maybe that would be helpful. Do I know how to, oh my gosh, do I know how to YouTube? No. Well, look, it says someone, I'm live. Okay, oh, my volume's on, so it's gonna like, yep. Okay, that should be good going to tweet this a link. No, it is not separating Infinite and Super Junior. I have to do that. I just have not yet. There's also a dog sitting behind me. <laughs> um, yes, I did mute myself um, on my computer. Sorry, I got distracted by this video of a blonde Shonu that's on Twitter, but I'm live on YouTube. Okay, what we're gonna do is actually, it's a pretty like, not tedious, but it's gonna, uh, it's gonna take a minute. So I wanted to be live so that we could chat and it would be a great time. Let me pop out, pop that out. Pop out the chat so I can see it. I do have my contacts in, so I should be able to read this. But, okay. Is it buffering? Is it buffering? Let me know. Because the reason I can't go live on Instagram is because no matter where I am in the world, I have a poor connection. So I don't know. Um, okay, it's good. Everyone says it's good. It's 3.29 a.m., my goodness. I cannot even remember the last time I was awake at 3.29 a.m., except if I got up at 3.29 a.m. Okay, um, it randomly buffers when you're speaking. Well, let me know if it gets really bad. I don't really know what I would do to fix it, but <laughs> just let me know. Okay, what we have to do is we need to take everything out of this binder and we need to move it. Um, to a different binder because there's lots of room here, um, but I'm afraid once I put my key hand cards in here, which is not what we're doing today, I don't really have anything to put away in here. I did an organizing photo card video today, um, which this was like not the main part of it, but I didn't want to do this project on that. I think I already said that. But we have to take everything out of here because once I put all my key hand cards away, I feel like it's gonna, gonna be not great. I am not collecting OT7 because, mm, yes. Um, 
I can't do that. <laughs> but I did, we do have to set up more things for the comeback too. And I wanna reorganize a couple things. I just wanna like work on this binder. So yeah, Kihan is gonna be heavy. I'm collecting a couple of like full group things for this comeback or like MX6 things. Um, so we just need to move it to a new binder. It's still gonna be green, but it's a four inch binder instead of a three inch binder. So it'll give me like more time. Like I don't think adding the key hand cards and this comeback is going to like completely um, fill it up. But yes, um, so that's what we have to do. I also have some sleeves in here just in case I need them. I just threw them in here. Um, but I have to put stuff, like put sticky notes and things in here for the Kino album too. So anyways, let's just do this thing and we can chat. Um, do you plan on doing a live separating Infinite Super Junior? See that video I have not filmed yet. And I don't know if I could do a live for it because it's literally going to take like multiple, multiple hours. Like it's probably going to take me three or four hours and I just have not had a chance to like, it's more like I don't want to sit down and do it. Oh, look, there's a little infinite card in here. I literally don't know why this is in here. Okay. It might've been a freebie that was in the bag that I brought this binder in. But yeah, how is everyone doing in quarantine? Am I allowed to say that word on YouTube? I'm not sure. How's everyone doing? Let's, but yeah, I wanted to do this just because I know it's gonna take a while and I've been like watching long videos all day and I just like was like, I have to do something different because <laughs> I'm just, yes. Oh yeah, a lot of you are probably doing online courses right now that I was gonna say it doesn't sound fun, but I also do online courses, but I do online courses all the time. How am I gonna do this successfully? Okay, so. Quarantine's made you buy so many albums. What? Let me know if it's connecting. Are you guys still there? Is everything okay? It says I lost a connection. Hello, hello, hello. Is it okay? Okay, <laughs> it came back. It like stopped for a second and said that we lost the connection and I was like, no, we just started. Okay, hold on one second. One second, I'll be back. Okay, all is good, all is good. Let's do this, we haven't even started yet. We have so much to do, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me read some comments. It was buffering, everything's good, we're still here. Okay, so I don't know how to do this successfully. I think what I'm going to do, even though you can't like see this, you can't see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not separating it. I'm just moving everything to a four inch binder from a three inch binder. So, yes, is that gonna, I don't know. Okay, we'll start with that maybe. But, yeah, I'll save this live afterwards. Yes, A Pink got five wins this week. We are so proud. I'm hoping for an Inky Gaio tomorrow. And uh, so we can get all the wins this week. So excited. So proud of them. Um, but, yeah, they do make four-inch binders. It's a fairly recent thing. Um, that I've seen, I like don't know how to do this. Okay, we're gonna take everything out, put it in a pile, and then put it in this binder. That's what we're gonna do. That's how we do this successfully. Okay, are you mentally prepared? See, the, I feel like Fantasia 
Fantasia doesn't have an insane amount of photo cards for Monster X, but I will say it's gonna be a weird era just collecting Kihyun because, yeah. No, green's not my favorite color. Actually, blue is my favorite color. I like a, a light blue. I just wanted to keep it in the same color binder because I like the green. I like the green sleeves for my photo cards. So, yeah. But, uh, I thought about putting Sujun Infinite in a four inch, but you know, I already bought the binder <laughs> to move um, things into. So like, I'm gonna keep this like three inch like old binder. I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna need to do something to it. Yes, I did pre-order. So I bought nine copies of Monstex's new album. I bought five from G Market, which has the Starship benefits. Um, and yeah, you can ask about other groups. Um, will you collect anyone in this comeback besides Kihan? So I am doing this. So I bought like nine copies, nine copies. I'm gonna need four of Kihan's solo photo cards and then I'm just gonna get one photo card for every other member. I don't know if I like this setup, but it's what's happening right now. So yes, but they also have a Kino album they announced, which has another photo card set, which I'm really sad about because I'm excited for the photo card set, but I really like like the way that this one's set up. And I am so sad that there's like no one photocard photo card that I can't set it up the same way as this one. I just don't know how to do math without Wanho. But you know, he um, posted on his fan cafe this morning. There was like a period of three or four days last week that nobody in Monster X posted anything. And I was like, you know Mon Bebe are spoiled because that was like a drought. We were like, what? what is wrong? Like something has to be wrong. Like this is not normal. So yes, Tomato Wanho. Yes, that's what he posted about this morning. This morning Wanho on Fan Cafe was like, do you guys put like sugar on your tomatoes? My mom used to do that. And I was like, what? No, I might put a fake Wano card. I already had plans to do that. Wow, that really didn't take that long. Oh, I could put them as a plus on the page. That might be kind of cute. Well, we're gonna get back to that eventually. Okay, we have to put everything back in the binder though. I have regrets. I should have done this the opposite. Upside down. <sighs> no. I'm gonna have to make a lot of fake one of the cards for this comeback. Oh my gosh. But we're determined to do it. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Things fell. Oh gosh. I have to get them. Ugh. Have some monster cells. I'll clean up my mess. There's so many things. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Everyone's like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. It's great. Um, what are these things? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? One hook. Monster X cards. Mostly full group things. Okay. I think this is how it was. Okay. Yes, we're good. Am I going to watch the Super M concert? Don't you have to pay for it? <laughs> SM, listen. Um, I, when is it? I literally don't even know when it is. I've seen teaser photos for it, but that's like all I know. Hello people just joining. We are reorganizing Monster X, moving them into a larger binder because, yes. Yeah, it's like not free. <laughs> Five hours from now. That's like past my bedtime, though. Mm. What made you choose green for Monster X? I don't remember why I chose green. Because this isn't even like their color. Like, green's not their color. <laughs> but I just chose it for some reason. 
Yeah, they are taking pictures of us being quarantined. You know what they should do though? I want a Super M comeback. Like I know that Taman's working on an album. I know 127's releasing a repack. I know, well, Beckham's making a comeback, aren't they? Um, but yeah, I just, I want a Super M comeback. Oh my gosh, look how cute Changyun looks in this photo. Can we just appreciate him for a second? He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, look at you. I love these so much. So much. We're gonna look at my Monster X collection together. Here we go. These are so cute. I freaking love them. Um, and then these postcards from All About Love. Shout out to my friend Michelle who went to the LA event and got me these. Well, I paid her back, but like, yes. Yeah, no more May comebacks. I know, I keep forgetting what's happening in May because my brain is literally all like about Monster X's comeback and that's like all I can focus on. But there's so many comebacks happening. Um, I know I'm excited for more Baekhyun music. I liked his last solo album. I own his last solo album. So maybe I'll try to buy this one. But yeah. What do you think of Kihan's days photos? I think he needs to relax. <laughs> I think he needs to stay, stay out. Of, no, no. Yeah, New East and Day Six are coming back on the same day as Monster X. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not thinking about it. All of y'all, Mom Bebe watching this, better be prepping to vote for Monster X for some wins. So, yeah, they're all coming back on the same day. Starship really said, like, yes, let's do everything we can. To <laughs> I like the trailers. I thought they were super good. Um, I love the backtracks of all of them. They're amazing. I don't know if they're all for, like, the songs. Hey, my one mod is here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Marina. <laughs> my one mod. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I thought the trailers were super good. I thought they were like really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Starship does that sometimes though. They don't really have many groups to like do things with. Plus in Starship said, we don't know any other date in May other than JYP too. He's like, whatever, everyone come back on May 11th. Um, Yes, I am going to, if they do a meet and greet, I will, I'm saying this to 224 people. Alex, hello, my dude, what are you doing? Um, if they do a meet and greet, I will run a group order for it. Will I regret it? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> but I'm going to, yes, I'm going to do it. So, yes. Um, which one was my favorite? Probably... Oh, gosh, I don't know. I think, I mean, Kihan's for reasons. I also really love the audio in Juhan's teaser. So, yeah, I don't know if they will do an, I hope they do an M-Wave meet and greet. They didn't do one for follow, but follow promotions like weren't a real thing. So we're not even gonna talk about follow promotions cause that was just a whole mess in itself. Um, and I have complaints about it that I probably won't get into here. Um, and then, um, for, I said, Alec, I meant to say, what am I thinking of? <laughs> what am I saying? Um, for We Are Here, they didn't do one, but I feel like We Are Here was like right before tour maybe. So they were like, eh, it's too much, but there's no like in-person, well, there's I think maybe one in-person fan meeting, but it's like to be decided on the date. So I actually don't know if that's going to happen. Um, so I'm hoping they do like meet and greet because it's an easy way for them to like sell albums and like do sign things and do interactions. And Gravity got one, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, um, I don't know. GOT7 only have two more music shows for this comeback. Didn't they like just come back? Like wasn't their comeback last week? What are, what are GOT, what is anyone doing right now that we need to cut promotions short? Like, 
I'm confused. If Monstex did a US fan sign, would you go? I'm not going anywhere right now. <laughs> it's quarantine. We're not, they're not coming here either. I have very low hopes for this tour this summer. Very low heart. Oh, so if you're just getting here, I'm moving everything from a three inch binder to a four inch binder um, because once I put all my key hand cards in here and this comeback, I'm not gonna have that much room in my three inch. So I just bought a four inch. So that's what I'm doing. I am in the process of putting everything into the four inch binder. Um, I'm watching my friend's dog tonight, so I'm not actually at my house right now, but um, they were still having a party when I left. So <laughs> what album size are K-Town for you is? Um, most places still are. It depends on your country, though. Like, I know Canada is having a lot. Um, I bought this binder on Amazon. Um, Canada's having a lot more issues than me. I know that Katie had to, like, send something to my P.O. Box address the other day while I was at work. She, like, tweeted about it, and I saw the tweet. <laughs> she, like, didn't message me about it. She was like, Carolyn, we'll just see the tweet later, but which is totally fine. But I know that Canadians are having a tough time finding, like, shipping options. Yeah, you have to do DHL. I've done like DHL or FedEx for everything, which is honestly painful because I don't even think EMS is like really a thing. I want to reorganize these postcards. I hate the way I have this set up. I did this during my organizing photo card video I filmed today. And then I was like, I'll just mess with it later. But I honestly hate like the way this is set up. Maybe we'll mess with that in a little bit. Yeah, I've heard customs have been real bad for people, too. The MTV. Yeah, I did see it. I was actually at work when they, like, um, were live. But, uh, follow era. Follow era was so good. But it was so bad. <laughs> so, but it was so good. So, I just, like, if nothing had happened, follow era would have been... Probably one of my favorite eras for Monster X. And honestly, if we're being completely honest, the first time I heard Follow as a title track, I was like, this is weird because it was very, it's very unlike a lot of Monster X's title tracks. Um, Follow reminds me a lot of like Drama Rama and what else does it remind me of? It's just not like a normal sounding, like normal for Monster X sounding song. But anyways, I absolutely adore Follow now. Like the song, I grew on me super quick my favorite Wanho era well we're almost at his cards so maybe we'll discuss then yeah the album is really good i still haven't heard um see you again or um find you since october but um the rest of the album is super good jealousy i don't think reminds me of drama rama well, maybe, maybe a little bit, I don't know. Any Monster X song that, somebody said that I should do this as like, like a, uh, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I probably should finish what I'm doing and then come back to this. But I just wanna see what this looks like. Somebody wanted me to do this as like a plus. So what it would be like, Minhyuk down here. Is there a Monstex song you don't like or don't listen to? Roller Coaster. <laughs> I don't like Roller Coaster. That is my one Monstex song that I am not a fan of. Um, but besides that, I like all their songs. That's like the only one. So I don't. Oh, uh, maybe I. Oh, maybe this is a little better. It looks more. Do we like that? Did everyone see what it looked like? It before what are we feeling do we feel like this looks better or like it was shonu minhyuk kyungwan and then juhan and i am i don't know how to do five member things i don't collect any group that has five members so i mean i don't collect like the full group for any group that has five members you like this everyone likes this yeah that's okay. We all can agree to disagree because Minhyuk dislikes some songs that are some of my favorite songs in Monsta X's and I'm like, yeah. 
hold on, I just got it. Okay, that's good. Um, see, I thought about getting an extra key hand, but then I thought about like if Wonho was here and I was setting up for a page without Wonho, would like if like if he was in this comeback and say there was a key hand card in this page and I was setting up for six cards, would I get an extra Wonho to put on this page? No. So that was kind of my reasoning for that. But who knows? I mean, if I end up getting like an M Wave album or something, yeah. How did I create those labels? I um made them on my computer. I have a video like in the process of being made for that. I just haven't yet. Don't judge my random green sleeve pages. These are like other key on things that I just didn't mark. These are for like special cards and then um like his two tuck gum cards and I just didn't feel like putting sticky notes on them. There is a Fantasia, uh, there is a, um, a Kino for this album. It got released yesterday. They released pre-orders for a Kino. So yeah, in the Kino, there is a, a set of cards similar to, to like follows cards. Um, so there's some that are this size, and then there's a photo card set. So, yes, we have to set up for that. I am working on my Balmy collection. I'm going to finish her for this album first for look, um, and then I'm going to finish, like, her other cards. I'm working on it a little bit, but a lot of my collection plans have been put on hold for right now. I don't know. I really was surprised that Starship hadn't released a Kino yet. I was like, oh, that's weird that there's no Kino this time. And then like two days ago, they were like, just kidding, there's a Kino. And I was like, why didn't you just like announce it? Are they your biggest alt collection? Um, Probably either them or Super Junior. My infinite collection is tiny, 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 tiny. But I think it is my biggest alt collection. Oh, is percent or dum 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 better? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. I need to reorganize this Wano collection, but I don't know. We'll probably work on that a little bit because I kind of hate the way it looks right now and we've got lots of things coming. So. Yeah. Are you pre-ordering Reload? Yes, I have not yet, but I will. So the only thing, so my Monster X like section of my photo card video I filmed this morning was not a huge section, but this was the highlight of this section of the video was me getting this photo card. Y'all probably don't even know what this is <laughs> because I don't know any, I know like three people that collect Monster X the same way I do. Um, but this is from their little world's tour. Sorry, the lighting is literally so awful right now. Um, but this is from their um, We Are Here like world tour booklet thing. And I found this photo card on Bai, on Makari. And it wasn't like ugh, this card, I will not lie to you, literally goes for like $150 normally. And I got it for like a fourth of that price. No, it was actually less than that or more than that. I don't know. It was a very cheap price. It was under $50, which would be, I don't know. It was under like $40 or something. Anyways, it was like that because there is slight damage to it, but like you can't even really tell. I don't even know how to properly show you this, the damage. It's like right, right like above his eyebrow here. You see it? There's like a couple little dents. Um, but yeah, these are really hard to come by. I saw this person on Twitter the other day who I retweeted. I actually quote retweeted it. And they have a Juhan collection that has all these rare Juhan cards that I could not even dream of having for Wonho because his cards are so expensive. They were expensive before October 31st. And now, man... Bless anyone who decided to collect one after October 31st because, oh my God. But 
Anyways, these are the last couple of pages. So let's just put these in here. And yeah, I, my bias in NCT Dream is Jano and I like never pull him. So I have low hopes for this. Okay, I need to replace this sleeve at some point in my life. Um, okay, that did not give me as much extra room as I was really hoping it would, but whatever, we're good. So um, next, do you know if the Kino have pre-order? No, the Kino doesn't have a pre-order benefit. How do you organize your binders? So each binder is pretty different. Um, the, somebody commented on one of my videos the other day and was like, why do you organize Monstex like that? So I guess I'll talk about that. So for those of you who have been around a while, you know that I used to only collect Wonho. Um, and the reason I started collecting Kihyun was because when Wonho left, I um, decided I wanted to keep collecting Monster X, but I so I ended up starting to collect Hehan. I only meant to collect him from follow forward, and then because I am myself and I own all these Wanho cards, I was like, I know all these Kihan cards exist, so I decided to to do this. And um, oh wow, this is not catching. Oh, that's really nice. Um, but. So I, I did this because <laughs> I, um, yes. So the only thing that's in here is follow currently, but yeah. Anyways, so this is all Keyhan stuff. I'm literally like, people ask me about this Keyhan video all the time. I'm waiting for three cards. When it says pile, that means it's in my like box thing, but I'm missing three cards that are sitting in New York City, which is like the worst place in the United States for mail to be right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm waiting for those three cards to arrive. And then there was one solo card that arrived at my PO box today. I haven't picked it up because yeah, I only go to my PO box like once or twice a week right now, but yeah. Um, let me read some comments here. It's crazy how much Kian's taking over our lives now. Yeah, Kihan became like the most popular member, which is crazy to me because of course I would choose the member <laughs> to collect that is now the most popular member after collecting the most popular member for like ever. But my reasons for collecting Kihan was because I feel like throughout, if you look at Monstex's fan cafe, and you like scroll down, cause you can scroll for like the past five years um, and you can see all of Wanho's old posts from when he was in that fan cafe before he had his own fan cafe. Um, and you can see up until October 31st, he posted like all the time, like all the time. And then October 31st happens, there's that fan cafe post from him that has like, the maximum amount of comments and everything because it's his goodbye post. And then after that, it's like all Kihyun. And so I think, I don't know, because Kihyun, when everyone else was like very visibly upset, Kihyun was a very strong like person because Shonu was also going through things. So, and then Minhyuk as well. So it was just kind of like October and November were all a mess. So I feel like Kihyun was like, the rock that kind of kept everyone together because Hyungwon and Juhan and Changyun were all a mess. And I'm sure Kiyun was also a mess, but he like hit it the best. So he stepped up and I really feel like he came through. And so that was like a big, a big part of that for me um, was kind of like how Kiyun became such a comfort to everyone during that time. Also, I, after I saw them live last year, which I've seen Kiyun live three times, um, that last time just was, in some pretty, pretty heavy um, Kihyun feelings after the LA concert last year. So, yeah, um, I won't be talking about anything that happened with Minya or Shonu, so don't ask me about it. Um, 
but yeah, so, so I think that's why, yeah, never mind, we're not going to talk about that, but anyways, so anyways, I ended up collecting key hands, so the reason why my monster X binder is the way it is, that was a very long tangent for something, <laughs> it doesn't matter, so we have one of solo cards, um, and then this, this mess of a page, it's a mess, um, and then his Japanese photo cards. I literally can't believe I, still, I have that. This is a mess. That needs work. Um, I probably won't really like mess with this until Wanho's solo comeback, comeback is announced because it, it's gonna be like made by Starship. So it's gonna have stuff in it and I'm just, yeah, have to prepare for that. But um, I should switch out these sleeves. Oh my goodness, they are dirty. But I don't have enough with me to do that right now, but I'll do that at some point. Um, and then I have all of his unit cards because back when he was an active member, I wanted to have just all of his solo cards. It's like all, this is all just one ho, and then this is him with like every other member. Um, and then it was a way for me to collect OT7 without actually collecting OT7. You know what I mean? So there's that. And then when I started collecting Kihan, I didn't want to put it by, um, I didn't want to put it by era because I had kept my one whole collection like this for so long that I like this so much. I respect people who do things by era, but I could never. <laughs> and then, so after all of Kihan's stuff, that's like all his stuff in the same order as one whole, We've got the OT7 cards. Um, and then these are just like random full group sets that I have. So like fan con, concerts from my um, season's greeting. And then after that, in most of my binders, in most of my collections, you'll see that I do um, try to do like two, three, four, try to do it like in order. It doesn't always work out, but so I have like a two pocket and then a three pocket, a bunch of three pockets and then four pockets. And then, so I try to organize it like that. It doesn't always work out. Like there's three pockets and two pockets back here, but I don't know. I like this stuff being back here and yeah. So that's kind of how I organize this binder. Um, what's the best shipping mode to order with right now? Um, definitely. DHL or FedEx have been the most successful for me. So. Somebody asked me if I'm going to keep one host solo cards here. I am. I'm going to keep all the monster X things together. So yes, I think the next step I'll do is take out like the larger postcard items that are in the back here and put them in a separate binder. Um, so yes. Oh, somebody said we need to find a way to make her the leader of Mon Bebe. Oh, you're so sweet. I literally, I don't know. I don't know if I could. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to be the leader of anything, to be honest. Um, I want to collect one of how many photo cards are there. So these aren't all album cards. How many album cards does he have? Let's figure it out. So he has five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 35, 30, uh, 36, or 7, 38, 39, 40 album cards. There are other things in here. These aren't album cards. This is not an album card. Um, this is a US only card, so I don't know if you count that. This, these are not album cards. These are not album cards. And then these are not album cards. I just keep them 
like this because I've been collecting one host since Trespass era. So I really had no intention of ever collecting his like special things. And then this card came out and I said, okay, we need to, but yes. <laughs> How long have you been collecting? Oh, I answered that kind of. Oh, K-Town for you with DHL shipping was cheaper as a total than Choice Music by $10. Yeah, I ordered from K-Town for you as well. I don't think I ever finished saying that, but I bought four copies from K-Town for you and five copies from G Market. So, yes. DHL is delivered by DHL in the U.S. But yeah. If you have any questions about where to buy Monster X's album or literally anything in regards to Monster X's comeback, I have done so much research, <laughs> so much research in the past few months that I have a video filmed on like ways international fans can support Korean comebacks. So I haven't edited it yet. I don't even know what I did today. I just like watched Animal Crossing videos all day and like did comeback prep stuff. And that was literally all I did today and filmed a video, but I didn't edit anything. And it's, I drank a lot of G Market is doing three methods right now. They have like this thing on their website that you can look up your country and they'll tell you which shipping methods. Um, I do think Monster X will get comebacks this or wins this comeback because we're all going to vote for them. Right, everyone? We're all gonna vote. We're all preparing to vote for Monster X and getting our hearts and everything, on our coins on other things. So. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bet they'll get, they're gonna, I want them to get more than follow era. So we're gonna go for Hmm, I want to say four wins. Is that me being greedy? Maybe. Is that me being a little, I don't know. Maximum number of wins was for alligator era, I think. I don't remember how many wins alligator had. They have four or five during alligator. I don't remember, but yeah. Because Alligator was like, well, Shootout was really when they started, like, blowing up more, I feel like. And then Alligator was, like, literally two months after Shootout. So it was, like, pretty intense. It was four. Yeah. I thought it was four or five. Um, to be honest, I wish I had appreciated Alligator era more. It was an iconic era for Monster X, and I feel like I wasn't paying as much attention. Compared to Starship, Highline seems so dead. Was Highline the only option for Wano to go solo? I think there's a reason that Wano chose Highline Entertainment. I think that it wasn't, I mean, there isn't much under Highline except for Wano. So I'm excited in that sense that he is like their only project. Also, you can't expect him to release something right away or like post things right away. Like Wano coming back this quickly to the music industry and Idol getting into a scandal and even if it's false or fake um, and then coming back to the industry is not something that's never happened before, but the turnaround has never been this fast. And so I'm just like a little happy that he had he didn't like dive back into everything like at first I was like oh we're gonna get one of posts on every social media site all the time and then I was like that's absolutely not realistic like I can't can't think that way because that's just a bad idea because yeah all right if you talk about the key hand scandal in here you're gonna get yelled at so don't do it it's false. Starship said it's false. If you retweeted things about it, made jokes about it on the timeline, just know I was annoyed. Um, not because I wouldn't support 
an idol I like dating because that's absolutely not true. I stand super junior and Sungmin is literally married. So like that's not the issue. The issue was rumors appearing before comeback hit a little too close to home for me. I panicked a little bit on Twitter. I know that people were looking at my tweets like you need to stop, but yeah. So we're not going to talk about it. It's not true. Even if you think like, oh, they just said it to like save face. Like it's not true. The timing was awful. It was targeted and I'm tired. I'm tired of monster sex being targeted. It is so old. <laughs> just gotta leave them alone and just let them. I just want a successful comeback without anything major happening. I just want a successful, wonderful comeback with amazing music that we can all appreciate and amazing stages and amazing choreography. And we're gonna get a couple of wins. If we only get three wins, I'll be happy. I just want more wins than follow because we can't, yeah. Um, so that's why I, if you follow me on Twitter, that's why when the news came out, I was like, we're gonna talk about anything except that because I am not going to contribute to anything ruining this Monstax comeback because I swear, <laughs> because if you were not a mom baby during follow era, you don't get it, like you don't get it. So yeah, there's that. And I know that's annoying and I know people are going to be annoyed about me saying things like that. And frankly, I don't care because I will never contribute to spreading any unconfirmed rumors ever again in K-pop, ever again. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. If it's not confirmed, I will not talk about it anymore. That is it. Because this, he should still be here. He should still be in the group. And it was because of rumors that he's not in the group. And it's really sad. And I'm really sad about it. But we're still really excited for the comeback. But I'm not going to let anything else mess with this comeback. So, yes. That is that. Anyways. See, but you know... Somebody said, you know, when these rumors start, you know, Monstax is getting bigger and bigger. But also, they've been targeted since debut. Like, they've been attacked and gotten hate since debut. And I'm tired. <laughs> so, I would just love for us to survive this comeback. Things have finally calmed down in Fan Cafe. Things have finally calmed down on Twitter, it seems like. I'm in my reporting group chats. I do my reporting and things and do my stuff. And, you know, but... Yeah, but that is it. The track list comes out on Monday. How many tracks do you think there's gonna be? I think there's gonna be, I wanna say seven tracks because there were six audios released for the six trailers. I don't think the title track was one of those audios. So, yes. No, I agree. I think Monstax are a lot more powerful than people give them credit for. But I don't, I don't think they've peaked yet, to be honest. I don't think so. So, I think Follow, I don't think Follow would have been their peak either. If nothing had happened, I don't think that would have been their peak either. So, yes. Mm -hmm. I think May is so busy because things in South Korea are getting so much better and, and people are like, oh, we can make comebacks now. Like, but can I just say, I've been a K-pop fan for 11 years and looking at music show stages these past few weeks, like is whenever they stopped letting audiences into music shows has been so weird because I'm so used to an audience that when there's no audience, I'm like, what is happening? We were gonna do other things and I just sat here and ranted for 20 minutes. Okay, we have to do other things. So, first things first, I hate my Wano postcard section. We have to do something about it. We need to do something about it. Um, but yes, I think 
once Monster X has come back, period, ends, I think we will start seeing more stuff from Wanho. I think it's just one too soon for him to be doing that much. Um, and out in the open, I think that's why he's stuck to Fan Cafe for the time being, which I'm fine with. I'm leveled up in his Fan Cafe. I applied, like, the first minute that I could. I literally three months ago didn't even know how to use Fan Cafe, and here I am on the day Wano's Fan Cafe gets announced. Like, yeah. Yeah, the no fan chance thing makes me super uncomfortable. I just, like, what, like... Hello? Is anyone here? No, nobody's here. They couldn't have, like... I don't know. YG used it as an excuse. Why... Don't you get me started on YG Entertainment. <laughs> well, actually, we could talk about YG Entertainment because I feel like I ranted about Wanho for a while. We have to fix this. I hate it. Okay. I don't like how there's, like, Kihan things here and then there's more Wanho things. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, I don't think they would put Wanho and Monstex up against each other in music shows. Not anytime soon, at least. Yeah, can we talk about YG Entertainment? YG Entertainment, man. So this year, YG Entertainment announced Treasure, finally, after months of them not being a thing because the old what's-his-face left the company and... Um, he was in charge of that project, so then everyone was like, I don't know what to do with them, so there was that, and then they announced them, and I was like, oh, we're, like, gonna get a debut soon, which I've been a K-pop fan for 11 years, my first K-pop group was Big Bang, um, my first K-pop girl group actually was Girls' Generation, my second K-pop girl group was 21, um, and I <laughs> was, I don't know why I thought, like, that would be a thing. I don't know why I thought that. I just realized I'm really close to my phone doing this, so I'm sorry if I'm like, sorry to headphone users right now. Um, and then they've been like doing covers and stuff. There's no news on Rose's solo, which I was so excited for. I don't know why I let myself get excited for YG things. That's the stupidest thing you could ever do um, is let yourself get excited for YG things because they'll never happen. Um, and then they're supposed to be in that Lady Gaga song. So that's pretty cool that they're going to feature in that. But then they announced their new girl group. And I'm like, what is the point of you announcing a new girl group when Blackpink have less than... How many songs do they have? 13? What, what is... I know this girl group's not going to appear for like two more years. You're just saying that they're debuting this year to get people hyped and then you're not going to debut them anytime soon. Um, Winner is basically all in the military now, but I feel like YG doesn't care that much about Winner. And now I'm not sure how much they care about Icon. And like, I don't know. Actually, Icon's comeback did really well. So... Not like as well as other comebacks they've had, but it did pretty well. Um, okay, I hate that these are over here too. Like what? No, absolutely not. We're gonna relocate these. I'm just, now I'm heated thinking about YG Entertainment. And then they announced this girl group and I'm like, what is, what is the point of this? Who is running this company? Who thinks that what you're doing is a good idea? Ugh. <gasps> oh. Lisa couldn't show her face on Somi's vlogs. I watched part of Somi's show the other day. It showed up in my recommended thing. It was like the episode where she was talking about all the people like that in her life that mattered to her or something. And it was really cute, actually. It was really cute. Remember when, oh my gosh, Made, the Made album. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the the icon thing is weird because it, it made me even like more surprised that Monster X just like kept going even though they really should have done what Icon did and just like relaxed for a couple of months and then like released All About Love in the States and all of that. Like just like the fact that they did so much after that I was like I've said it before I'm 
very proud of Juhan for taking his break, but I'm surprised it took that long for a member to be like, I need a break. So, um, if the sun is too bright, I'll post on a black and come. Oh my gosh, this man. I, I don't even know. It's a woman who's their CEO now, right? Why? Why? And Blackpink have like dolls or something? No, YG Entertainment. So annoying. I don't, I miss Han, where is Han been? I was kind of expecting him to show up again somewhere, but he hasn't and that makes me really sad because he made some great music and I would like to listen to his songs again. Real talk. Doesn't have to be immediately, but I would like to someday listen to a Han Ben song again. Yeah, they had no intention to help Han Ben. I honestly don't think don't give Starship that much credit for Wonho either. They didn't do as much as people give them credit for. They did more than YG but everyone does more than YG, <laughs> so, so, doesn't say a lot, but I mean, you know, we're still, I won't say I'm grateful for Starship Entertainment, you'll never hear me say that. Oh, he has, I know that he released one demo, the one that was like, oh, he's releasing more sound, songs on SoundCloud, I'll have to check out his SoundCloud. Big Bang at Coachella. Um, Big Bang did renew their contracts. I did see news about that. Yep, they renewed their contract. I'm not that surprised that they renewed their contract because um, I feel like YG only knows how to take care of Big Bang. Realty, they only know how to take care of Big Bang. The fact that Icon blew up like they did, that one comeback, I think was just like, like YG had no idea what to do after that. They were like, what? They're, they have like a super hit now? Like what, what do we, how do we deal with that? Um, how did I have these before? I don't even remember. These are together, I know that. This is a horizontal one, maybe? Yes, yes, that is how we had it. <sighs> yes, Big Bang does take care of YG. Big Bang is the reason that the lights are still on and then they give Blackpink a comeback when they're a little tight on funds and they're like, you know, we really need to pay our electricity bill this month, so let's give Blackpink a comeback. And that's when Blackpink gets comebacks. But, yes. Yeah, me and Katie's comeback got postponed due to the virus. Love that for us. It was really sad. Like, the weekend we were supposed to see each other was April 18th, so it was last weekend. And, you know, there have been some internal fights, a little couple of disagreements, but, you know, we've, we've settled it for the most part. <laughs> some disagreements. Now, uh, yep. The Big Bang have been through a lot. They were my first K-pop group. They were my first, like, alt group. But... Yes. There were some arguments about cupcakes. There were some arguments about the correct way to eat pizza. And that's it. Am I missing something? Hello? Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Oh, because this wasn't originally there. It was up here. Yes, it started on Instagram mostly and then Katie took it to Twitter Mashed potato, yes! I've never met a person that dislikes mashed potatoes. If you 
someday I'll do, I want to do like an Instagram, like what I eat in a day, because I feel like it would never be a thing I'd post on this channel. But a lot of people have like sincerely been like, what do you eat as a vegetarian slash like mostly plant-based person? And I want to film a, like something for it. Um, and I, you will see that I eat a lot of potatoes. I respect potatoes in all forms. So the fact that she said she dislikes mashed potatoes, just, yeah. I didn't have mashed potatoes today. I had potato salad though today for lunch. Oh my gosh, the whole chat. I wish Katie was here. Katie, what are you, why are you not here listening to this conversation right now? Oh my gosh. No, I did not put away my Kihan stuff. This is not the Kihan video. We do have, we still have things to do though. I still get, I'm distracted. Okay, we, I hate these things. Thank God there's no bookmarks, but the triangle thing, we're upset about that still. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you eat your pizza? With my hands, like the true American Italian I am. <laughs> Italian American, American Italian, I don't know whatever you want to call me. Okay, things that are a thing for this comeback. We have to set up for the Kino cards. Um, I'm going to put them after All About Love. No, we're gonna put them here. These are the Kino cards. And I brought sticky notes and a pen, but where are they now? Here's a pen. Oh no, where are my sticky notes? I need these two. Green sleeves. Alex, don't you put milk first and then your cereal? I don't understand. Are you the, are you the person who does that? When did me and Katie become friends? I don't remember. We tried to figure that out when we met in LA last year. And I don't remember. It's been a few years. The only pizza that can be eaten with utensils is a deep dish. Yeah, but deep dish is the worst kind of pizza. Real tea. I dislike deep dish pizza. Mostly because I dislike crust. Oh, and you bite ice cream, Alex. We need to, we need to have a conversation. I, you know, we've known each other for a long time, Alex, but I just can't approve of these things. <laughs> we've known each other for a long time, Alex, and I just, I just can't approve of these things about you. I can't support you in these things. Okay, outside of K-pop, can we talk about something I've been obsessed with? It's still like Animal Crossing. I bought a Switch the other day, and I am so excited for it to arrive. You will never see me again. I bought a Switch, and I bought Animal Crossing, and the Switch is arriving on Tuesday, and I am so excited for Animal Crossing. I have been debating for weeks on whether or not to get it, and my state just extended our stay-at-home order recently, like this past week they announced that it was being extended and I was like you know what where no I did not buy the Animal Crossing switch I bought a really ugly colored switch I bought a gray one but it was the cheapest not the cheapest it was um the one with the quickest shipping the other ones were going to take like three weeks and I was like I don't have the patience for that it needs to be here sooner <laughs> like they were all out of stock and they were being restocked so yeah I know, all I did today was watch Animal Crossing. People play Animal Crossing all day. That's all I did today. So, yeah. I, May 1st, that's early. We were supposed to open up on April 30th. And now we are opening up on, I think they said May 8th or something. 
So, but then, then they said that that doesn't actually mean like stay at home order is lifted. Like the stay at home order is going to last an extra like three weeks after that time, just to make sure that we're actually Gucci before they open things up more. So anyways, I bought Animal Crossing. I was like, I'm gonna have some time. Two of my best friends, IRL, from college were texting yesterday because one of my friends, her boyfriend got her Animal Crossing as like a graduation gift or an end of semester gift or something, something. I was like, I gotta find me a man like that, but <laughs> a man who will buy me Animal Crossing. But, um, and then my other friend in our group chat was like, oh my gosh, I've been playing it for weeks. And then I was like, well, everyone's playing it. My sister's been playing it. My sister has like 140 hours or something on her like game. And so I'm anyways, excited, gonna start playing. I, yeah, I'm so excited. You can decorate the gray one any way you want to. I know, I'm going to buy something cute to like make it not as ugly. There's also, I guess, a Pokemon game that was released for Switch a while ago. I don't like pay attention to things like that, but I love Pokemon. I do. I have been a Pokemon fan for most of my life. So I'm probably gonna download that game too, but I'm so excited for Animal Crossing. Like, literally checked my shipping like three times today. It's literally Saturday. They're not shipping it soon, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, that's what it is. Pokemon Sword and um, yeah, that's the one that I'm going to download onto my Switch. I'm excited. Everyone else is playing Animal Crossing. It looks so fun. I just am bored and I just need a game or something and Superstar Willem is not going to cut it for me for a game. Also, I downloaded Superstar Willem, but I heard that the chaser is not there and I'm upset about that. I should have put sticky notes on here before I put these in here, but you know, we are committed now. Okay. So for the Kino card set, I don't think I'm going to separate Kihian from the other members. I think I'm just gonna keep the whole set together. So thank God Starship has not had the idea to do random Kino cards. I dread the day they decide to do that because that's gonna be awful. No, I was never a Yu-Gi-Oh fan at all. I've always been a Pokemon fan. Yeah, I don't know why the Chaser, they, why would they release a game like that without the Chaser on it? Concerned. But Woolen doesn't know what they're doing. Oh, also Woolen Boys were in Days, the May edition of Days, and they released a behind the scenes video last night. I freaking love them. I'm so excited. Somebody asked me way earlier in the chat. Um, I was talking about something else and I saw it, but I didn't like mention it yet. Um, They better have an event for the chaser. That song deserves an event. But, um, where was I going with that? Oh. Oh, I was gonna say something and then I forgot. I literally don't remember what I was gonna say. I saw something earlier in the chat. What was it though? I don't know, it'll come back to me. Um, Limited, ooh, that would be fun. Limited theme event. Taking a summer class to spend my time during quarantine. Yeah, I'm taking summer classes too, but that was just part of my program <laughs> originally. I'm taking two sets of summer classes. So that, yes, Woolen Boys. Okay, so somebody asked, that's what it was. Thank you. Thank you, Marina. You're, that's why you're my mod. You keep, keep me on task. Um, so, um, so they, somebody asked me if I've been interested in any rookies yet so far this year. And to be honest, ab like, no, like no rookies have stood out to me and I haven't tried that hard, but I, are there tornado warnings? That's cool. I have the TV on in front of me. That's cool. Um, Anyways, that's fine. Um, not near me. Kind of near me. Not that close near me. I don't know. Anyways, 
But I have not been interested in literally any rookies that have really debuted. I think the closest I've been to being interested is H&D, but I don't trust MBK enough. <laughs> oh, that company is a mess. But yeah, um... Weird. Anyways. Yeah, I, I've i just been kind of interested in H&D. I thought their song was good. I was watching Ava's unboxing of their album today, and um, then I watched... They were talking about the live stages, so I was like, oh, I'm going to go watch a couple of live stages. And the live stages were pretty good, but yeah. I mean, I was a big X1 fan, so... But I just... You know, post-produce groups always worry me because I don't think, I don't, I don't know. Any new groups that debut from like, like groups like New East and um, like Victon, groups like that, like tend to do well, but I feel like new groups don't, they'll like do well initially and then they don't always like pop off and I'm just hoping that this time like will be the time that that's different because tell me a post IOI group that is like very popular and very successful right now. Like there really isn't one. So, and then for 101, AB6 does pretty well. Daniel does well. His stuff does well because he's loved in Korea. CIX does okay popularity-wise. I like CIX a lot, but um, I have to like actually write these things. So, show new. We're not gonna write what these are for. I know what they're for. I almost wrote Wonho. That was really sad. That was just a force of habit. Okay, anyways, Minyuk. That was really sad. Yeah, Priston had potential. I think I thought when Priston debuted, they were going to be that post IOI group that did super well, and then Pledis somehow messed that up. I don't know. I still don't know. WJSN is WJSN. I guess I don't know. I don't remember their last comeback happened right after Wanho left, so I don't even remember it to be honest. But that's my fault. That's not any fault on theirs. Chungha does well. That's true. I agree with that. Chungha is very well loved. Um, Ki Hyun. Do, do, do. Hyungwon. Still writing out like this order without Wonho messes me up, and I don't even know why, because after Minhyuk, I should be fine, and for some reason, I just like still mess up, and I don't know why. Um, what do the Monstax members look like? Oh my god, they are so beautiful in real life. Like, they are literally so beautiful. I, Shonu, man, he is the most gorgeous man you will ever see in the entire world. Shonu is 100% the most gorgeous man you will ever see, ever. Um, and Hyungwon is super tall. He's, like, mostly legs. Juhan is like, I just feel like super comfortable around Juhan. Like he just gives off this vibe that's literally like, like literally when I did my high touch with him, he was like laying on a table, like laying on the table. Like there was a table in between the boys and us when we were doing high touch. And Juhan's just like leaning forward, like half on the table, like what's going on? And I was like, Juhan. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, this is great. But I, they're like, incredibly beautiful like literally we walked to high touch and the first member i saw when we turned the corner was shonu and we still had like a little bit to walk like it was probably i was like here and then shonu was over here and i literally turned to my friends and was like i cannot do this like we need to turn around so kyogwan the past two concerts i've been to has like loved my section and so i'm pretty convinced he's in love with me at this point just saying just kidding <laughs> that is a totally a joke but i'm just gonna do my normal like 666 for this i know how to do this so where juhan where'd you go their most recent album sold a hundred thousand copies 
That's amazing. So I, you're probably all gonna cancel me for this, but I, was, I don't subscribe to this person, but I was watching their video the other day, Angelina the Parrot Girl. I was watching one of her videos and she was talking to her friend who's a Revolove and her Revolove friend, I don't like know any of these channels, but her Revolove friend was like, um, they were talking about the Silgi Irene subunit, which is gonna be iconic, I'm super excited for it. And which is why I clicked on the video because I was like, I don't really think she talks about Red Velvet that much. I'm interested in what she has to say about them. And so her friend was like, will you tell like your audience to buy the album because Revelos don't buy albums? And I was like, what do you mean Revelos don't buy albums? And I looked up Red Velvet's physical sales and I mean, they're impressive, but I was expecting much higher, but their digital sales are amazing. So, you know, it's fine, but I was just very surprised. I was like, hello? So why don't Revelos buy albums? That's my question. I'm confused. You got hit by Jackie's water bottle? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Irene's blonde right now? <gasps> That'd be amazing. I don't even think I'd recognize Irene if she was blonde, honestly. She's been, she's had black hair for so long. Carolyn cheating on Dong with Hyungwon. Hyungwon, man, I, yeah. Like, what? That, it was two different cities for the first one I had P3. And, oh, I guess that's true. The packaging is awful for Red Velvet. <laughs> I mean, I think that their, like, normal versions are fine, but. They have so many photo cards. So. Are they oddly expensive? When it comes to my top groups, I don't look at prices anymore because yeah. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to put Kino cards in. These are gonna go away to not here. Um, why don't I have my Keehan sticky note anymore? I guess we'll make him a new sticky note. Okay. That's interesting though. It was a fact I never like, something I never really looked at because I just assumed that Red Velvet had like really great physical sales. No like shade or anything. They do really well. So I'm not like, you know, shading them at all. I love Red Velvet. They're one of my top girl groups. They're my second favorite girl group at this moment in time. So, colored Polaroid. Oh, Minhyuk is super pretty too. Minhyuk wasn't really on my side of the stage a whole lot. And then Kihan had a cracked rib the last time I saw him, but he, so gorgeous. And he worked so hard. He hit every high note that night with a cracked rib on so many pain medications, I'm sure. They didn't say he was on a lot of pain meds, but um, actually they might have said he was on pain meds. But yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. I can't, like Kihan is unreal. And he is so cute. I really wish I had done high touch with him, but he obviously didn't do high touch or like get close during send off because of his rib, which is totally understandable. Like definitely would rather him protect his rib than touch my hand for 10 seconds or two seconds. Um, but yeah, he's the way he hit every note that night. I made it through the whole concert and like didn't sit in this chair for the majority of the concert, even though he was supposed to sit in his chair, was amazing. Like, yeah. The most useless album inclusions, stickers. Stickers are so useless. We hate stickers in this household. Okay, right, we're gonna do the colored Polaroids and then we're going to do Kino cards. And I cannot remember how many Kino cards come in Monsta X's new album, but we're gonna assume it's the same as last time because I think I remember thinking that when I looked at the album specifics. So how many, which it doesn't make sense because there's six members. So why do they have the same, should we look it up? Let's look it up. I'm just gonna look it up. 
right now on K-Town for you. I can't see the chat right now. Kingdom not following doctor's orders. No, literally everyone in pit was like, Kihan, sit down. And Kihan was like, let me hit this high note real quick. And we were like, Kihan, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even hit the right thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But, you know, I... Let, okay, let's go this way. Kihan's English is so good. If you watched their, um, oh no, where'd the Kino go? Kino, come back. Here it is. Um, if you watch the, the MTV video that him and Juhan did, he's like, I'm like scared about how good his English is. Like I am afraid with how good his English is. All right, so there are 24 pieces. So. That is six pages. How many are here? One, two. There's 24 for here too. Does that mean every member got four cards? I'm gonna be upset because you know how messed up this was last time. So annoying. Each member only had three solo cards and I was like, Starship, why don't you just make it? Oh my gosh. These are so pretty though. Young Wan, where are you going, dude? Look, look at you, Kihan. Look at him. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous boy. Now you're too high. Young uh, Wan had like two of the same cards too. I was like, hmm. Anyways, yeah, I'm afraid. Kihan's like too good at English. I'm, I'm not, don't approve of that. I need him to learn less English. <laughs> Hope he never finds my Stan Twitter account. Just kidding. How many of these do I need? I need three of them. Okay. And obviously, I don't know exactly what these look like. No. Oh, the coloring sheet was in the mentions. Of pre do, do, do. How do I cut out my fillers? I have a document on my computer with the correct dimensions, and then I just print them out on cardstock. So... Yeah, Keaton's flavor was so good. It hit a million views recently and it deserved it. So, yeah, anyways, Keaton needs to learn less English because I'm afraid. But it's okay. Tour's not happening this year anyways. So, this is my first, like, time in three years, four years, not going to a Monster X concert this summer. I mean, it hasn't been canceled yet, but my friend, um, I have a friend who lives in Phoenix that I was going to, she's like my best friend of like 10 years, um, probably longer actually. It's probably been like 12 or 13 years at this point. But anyways, she lives in Phoenix with her boyfriend. And so I was going to go to the Vancouver show so I could go with Katie. And then I was going to go to um, one of the California shows, not Las Vegas, the other one, um, San Jose. And then I was gonna go to Phoenix and those shows were like back to back. And the reason I decided to, <laughs> that's fun. Um, I'm just watching the weather. That's good. It's good. There's just tornadoes out there. That's fine. Um, but anyways, so I was gonna do that because I was gonna go see her and like just stay at her house for a couple of days um, and then fly back home after that. And we were gonna like hang out, whatever. There's a pool in her apartment complex. We're gonna do that, you know, just like normal friend stuff, whatever. So she texted me the other day and she was like, cause she knows I was going there to see a concert and then I was also going to see her. She was like, did that concert you were going to go to get canceled? And I was like, listen, let's not talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Um, but I was going to drag her along with me if nobody else bought my other like alt VIP ticket. But um, one of my friends who was going to the San Jose show was going to buy it. But now like, yeah. So yeah, it was very sad. 
No, she's she's always she's known me before I liked K-pop. Like that's how long she's known me, and but she's known me for most of like the time I've liked all the time I've liked K-pop. So she's not weird about it. She doesn't really care for it though. Oh, Alex, man, you should have come this year, but I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to happen. I think they'll postpone it, which is annoying because I've already got multiple concerts postponed and I really wanted to go to them and I don't know when they're going to postpone them too. I was going to see BTS in May too. It was a birthday present I bought for myself. I've never seen BTS live and I was going to see them the weekend before my birthday and it's not happening. <laughs> so, ugh. I know. I'm sad whenever I think about it too long. Whenever I go back to my tweets from like February when I'm like, oh my God, I have so many concerts I'm going to this year. Like I had an insane amount of concerts planned for this year. And I had, I like requested so many days off. And the other day at work, I like deleted all those requests because not the ones for the summer, but um, AB6 got postponed, at least in the US they did. I think the Europe t shows got canceled, but I think the US shows got postponed. My first, um, well, I don't know because I should do a live stream for my birthday. My birthday is on a Saturday, maybe, we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday now. Actually, it's still gonna be during the stay at home order. So, <laughs> so I will be at home for my birthday. Yes, Alex, we're both Geminis, right? Love that for us. What else was I going to do in this binder? Oh, I bought, I brought this stuff because in my photo card video, I was like, I don't know what I want to do with this. So let's just do it next time. And I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I'm probably not going to do anything with it right now. I wanted to mess with my Wano solo cards, but I have these cards, these cards and these two cup sleeves. Would you guys, do you guys, or would you put cup sleeves in your binder or do you like display them? I don't know what to do. Should I display them on my shelf or should I put them in my binder? These are from Maria, by the way, Honey Do Mochi. She went to a 10 birthday event in um, Toronto and she sent these to me and it was so amazing. You hang them up, but I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm definitely gonna put the cards in here eventually. I just don't know when or where. You put them in your binder display. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a variety of feedback. Display. <laughs> For everyone that says display, there's also a comment that says binder. That's so funny. Okay, well, I'll think about it some more. I don't know what I want to do with this too. This is a freebie I got and I thought it was really cute and I wanted to put it in here, so. Yeah. Maybe I'll display things. To be honest, ever since I got that white shelf, I've really wanted to replace my Monster X Infinite Suju shelf with a white shelf, and I just have not. I don't know. Wouldn't be heavy if you put it in your binder. Maybe these cards are really thick, so there's gonna be that, but these aren't very heavy. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it some more, I guess. But how long have I been streaming for? 88 minutes. Thoughts on God 7's comeback? I loved it. I thought it was so good. I am a big fan of God 7. Um, they're not one of my top, top groups, but I have really liked everything they've released since debut, and I do collect their albums. I will buy a copy of their album. I only buy one copy of God 7's albums because I don't um, – give in to JYP's nonsense <laughs> when it comes to God 7. Um, but I don't give in to JYP's nonsense for any group, to be honest. But JB's hair, ooh, JB's hair was amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, and then Jackson's singing was so good. I haven't heard the full album yet, so I can't comment on that. Um, but I, yes, 
the title track has been one of my favorite songs, along with April's new song. April's new song is so good as well. And yeah, I like Oh My Girl as well. I'm super excited for their comeback. Yes, I have seen A Pink's fan song music video. It was so cute. I love how they do that like every year as they release a fan song. Gravity, um, okay. So I cannot escape Gravity, I swear to God. <laughs> but um, I will continue my top songs of the month video. I know I did it weird for like the past three months, but I'm gonna go back to my normal format for this month. I just wanted to like try it out again without like, you know, because those other videos take a while because I like write captions and things for them. But for this video, it took me maybe like two or three hours to edit, which sounds like a lot, but it's really like nothing in comparison to the other ones. Um, but Cravity, the best song on Cravity's album is Jumper, which is the song Juhan produced. And maybe that's because it sounds like a Monster X song and I obviously like Monster X a lot. Um, I don't know any of the non-produce members except for um, their Mangne because I thought he was cute and then I looked up his age and was like, mm, just kidding. Um, I think all the boys are super talented. I thought the choreography for the song is um, okay. I don't, thinking about it right now, there's no like point that sticks out to me for it. The title track was... Um, I didn't like the chorus very much, which I think is my problem with the song, but it didn't like wow me. And I was kind of sad that it didn't wow me. Um, but I don't plan on collecting them. I get asked this question all the time. I, yeah, don't plan on collecting them. And I wish them the best, but I have made a strong decision to not buy, not get into any more pro, like, starship groups at least for a couple of years because yes yeah yeah their whole their their song didn't stick with me now i'm thinking about it. i know the reason i didn't like the song was the chorus but i can't tell you what the chorus sounds like right now um, there is one member who looks like Minhyuk and sometimes I see him in thumbnails and I think it's Minhyuk and it's not Minhyuk. <laughs> um, so that's pretty funny, but, uh, age doesn't really influence if I would stay in a group or not. Um, as long as there's like a couple of members pretty close to my age, I don't really have an issue with it. The issue was I was trying, I was like, I don't know. I mean, age doesn't really matter, but... I'm not watching any K-dramas. I'm gonna start Myung Soo's. I have to start his. My group submitted the last part of our final project today. And the only thing we have to do is like eventually we're gonna get it back and we're gonna have to do some edits on it, but they're gonna be super easy. So I'm basically done with school for the semester. So I think maybe next week when I get my Switch and I'm playing Animal Crossing, I'll start Myung Soo's drama. Um, but yeah. I don't stan April. The only member I knew before this comeback was Jin Sol. Um, oh no, Myung Soo's drama flopped in Korea. That makes me so sad, but um, yeah, it looks super cute. I'm pretty excited for it. Wise words from Lucas, I don't care about age. Yeah, it's not really the age thing. The age wasn't the reason I didn't want to stan Cravity, it was mostly Starship because I'm just, I, Sistar used to be one of my favorite girl groups. Boyfriend were one of my favorite boy groups for a while and they messed both those groups up. Just, I just am so sad about that. And then the whole one home Monster X situation, I just, uh, I just, it's just like YG. Like I stopped standing YG groups a while ago just because I can't, I just set myself up for like heartbreak and I just, can't do that but the Mangne of x1 just debuted isn't that um h and d isn't does your starship boycott mean you won't be collecting one young in eugen um oh i don't want to think about that 
Um, probably. I don't want to. It's not like I hate Gravity or I hate the Future Girl Group. Like, that's literally not it. It's literally because I know if I get invested, I'm just going to be disappointed somewhere down the line. And I'd rather not. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Am I going to sneeze? <coughs> oh. Sorry. Bless me. I don't have the virus. I have really bad allergies. <laughs> and they've been... It's allergy season, which is very inconvenient. It's very inconvenient that this is allergy season. But, yeah. Oh, thank you, guys. Wow, thanks, everyone. <laughs> thank you. Um, do you... I think you mean to say, do you stand Astro? I like Astro. Astro is a group that, here's my story with Astro. It's similar to my story with Boyfriend. So um, both groups had like a pre-debut show and um, I um, watched both of them, thought that I was going to completely fall for both of these groups, which I eventually did, but um, I didn't... Um, didn't love either of their debuts. I didn't love Astra's debut and I didn't love Boyfriend's debut. Um, but I knew all of the members. So they've always been like, when you watch a pre-debut show, you learn all of the members and learn personalities and everything. So at least like initial personalities and everything. Um, so that's funny. An infinite Twitter account just tweeted about Myungsoo's drama. We were just talking about it. But yeah, so I like Astro music as of like three or four comebacks ago I would say I started to really really like their music um and that kind of is what happened with me and boyfriend too like I didn't like a couple of their songs and then they started releasing really good music and yeah so I'm excited for Astro's new comeback I'll definitely check it out I don't collect Astro but yeah my bias is Jinjin Jin too Marina I like him a lot I think my second bias is Rocky I like him a lot too, but yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe New East has four versions again too. I'm only buying one copy of New East because I like just can't. I bought two copies for their last album and I, I don't know, yeah. Yes, Astro has a new album coming out in May. I'm excited for it. When do you think SM is going to debut the girl group? They really should debut them soon. I really, Katie and I have not disbanded. We're just on hiatus. <laughs> yes, I will keep Wanho's photo cards in the Monster X binder. I'm not even doing anything now with my binder. I'm just like, yeah. You want a new NCT unit? I think I want one more wavy comeback before a new NCT unit. Also, Lucas is blonde. I need something with Lucas being blonde in it, so, yep. Can we talk about, like, I love day six, but can we talk about how Twice isn't getting a comeback before day six? I really thought Twice was gonna come back in May. And they're coming back in June, I think. But I really thought that them and Day6 were going to be switched. What would you do if 17 released 13 versions of an album? I'd probably cry, and then I'd probably just buy S. Coops's. Actually, oh no. I would have... I want to buy... Oh my gosh. I'd probably buy four. I'd probably buy... I'm assuming you mean like member versions, because 13 versions. I'd probably buy S. Coops, Jung-Han, Joshua, and either Jean, Dino or Mingyu's version. I'd probably buy four, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought Twice would come back first, to be honest. Yeah, they're getting a nice break, which is good. No, I'm not gonna watch Super M's concert tonight. I'm tired. I'm probably gonna go to bed soon, actually. Actually, I'll probably edit for a little bit and then go to bed. Knowing Pledis, they would do photo cards for all different versions, too. Maybe, but if I had a higher chance of pulling S. Coops, an S. Coops version, that would make me very happy because I never pull S. Coops. Yes, I saw that twice for filming their music video in Jeju. I really hope that guy leaves Nyan alone. I can't believe that's still a thing that's like happening. 
video tomorrow. I'm going to try my hardest. It probably won't be up until late tomorrow afternoon. Not late, but like, why is there a tornado warning in my county now? Okay. I have to let this dog outside though. <laughs> um, there's a 30, oh, there's, so there's multiple SM concerts. Why is there no teasers for anything for day six yet? Because JYP sucks. Actually, no, Monster X started teasing super early for their comeback. New East and, well, actually, I guess Monster X didn't do that much teasing before, because them and New East have been releasing teaser videos on, like, the same time. Yeah, 62 cards for New East. Like, you guys are worried about me collecting Monster X's comeback. I'm more worried for New East stands, <laughs> to be honest, but... Yeah. 1,500 coins? No. Yeah, they have a lot of photo cards. Do you follow BTP at all? Um, I do, kind of, but yeah. I don't know if, so New East do well in Korea. They are still well-loved, oh, still well-loved in Korea. But I don't know if the photo card love is there for newies. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think they're... Like, I know a lot of people who collect, like, 17 and groups like that. But I don't see a lot of people who collect, like, New East thoroughly. So the fact that there's 62 photo cards... Yeah. What do you think Wano's concept is? So I actually thought about this while I was... Um, doing a face mask the other night, <laughs> like last week, it like randomly pops into my head while I was putting a face mask on. And cause this quarantine has been bad to my skin. I don't know what it is, but it's been real bad to my skin. Um, but anyways, I think he's going to, and a lot of you like new K-pop fans won't know who this is, but Rain is a solo artist in Korea who is married now. He, you know, is very successful, but he had a concept that I can totally see Wanho doing. It was like an emotional, like sexy, like I, it just randomly pops in my head, have not heard a, had not heard a Rain song in literally like probably over a year. And I was just putting on a face mask like in my bathroom and was like, you know what Wanho should do? A Rain concept. I can totally see that. I can totally see him trying to be the next Rain, like the 2020 version of Rain. So that is what I saw. Rain has a TikTok because I saw um, Shaol 360 complaining about how she had to download TikTok. Dongae also got a TikTok recently, and I downloaded TikTok before that because quarantine is boring. But um, yeah, what a bad boy! Like can. Can you not see it? Like, can you totally see it though? I totally can see it. If he does anything besides that, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna send him a letter and be like, listen, you need to rethink this and you need to do a rain concept because you would kill it. Rain was, a rain is, I shouldn't say was, like he's gone, like he's still, you know, alive and well. But rain is a great dancer, a great vocalist. He is extremely, good looking, like, I, yeah, yeah, Rain is Shonu and Wanho's inspiration, like, if Wanho doesn't do, and I think that's what Wanho would be the most successful solo doing, like, a concept like that, I think, with maybe, like, a little more choreography, I can see, can totally see it, and if that's not what's going on in Highline Entertainment's planning room right now, I'm just saying, I was watching a bunch of Rain music videos and I was like, I can see Wanho doing all of these concepts. I, yes, so. Yeah, Wanho with a concept like 30 sexy, yes. See, I'm just throwing it out into the universe that it would be the best option for him concept wise. I think in Korea, that would, that would be like internationally too. I feel like that's how a lot of people know Wanho. A lot of people don't know Wanho for like his, like cuter songs that he's produced, but a lot of people know him for like, like his mirror performance or like, 
I'm trying to, or like anything with him not wearing a shirt. I feel like a lot of people know him for that. So I think that would be a great idea for Wanho. So I'm just gonna like write it in Wano's fan cafe and be like, hey, you know what you should do? <laughs> you should do a rain concept because rain, uh, Highline is not prepared. Highline is not prepared. I want to work for them so bad because they need help. Listen, I am not thrilled that he's not in Monstex right now either. But I'm trying to make the best of this situation in, yes, so. See, I really like From Zero. From Zero is probably my favorite song from Wanho. From like his recent songs, I would say. I like Mirror too, but, and like, no Hada, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, right, There's there, they released that thing today. Monster X wrote a thing. I am going to. I don't know what I want to write to Keehan. What do I want to tell him about? I haven't, haven't figured it out. But I will. I wasn't really on Twitter much today, so yeah. <gasps> There's 20,000 posts to level up on his fan cafe now. <gasps> oh my gosh. I know some friends who, like, joined it within the first 24 hours who still haven't been leveled up. So. Yeah, I there was a very high chance we never we never could have seen Wanho again. It could have been like Hanbin right now and I for him where like we wouldn't really see him much. How do you know I'm fairly new to it. So You'll get a notification when you've been leveled up, um, and then you'll be able to access letters and stuff. So if you go to the fan cafe and you go to like the main page and you try to click on like someone's letter or something and a message pops up and you can't see the actual letter, it means you haven't been leveled up yet. Um, but you'll get a notification when you've been leveled up. And then I have one, ho I have all seven numbers notifications on, so yeah. What do you think of uptension? I think that I think that TOP media is ruining them. That's what I think. I can we talk about how the two members who went to produce are going solo now and like aren't going back to uptension? Like I wanted to see Jin Hyuk and Woosuk back in uptension. And not that I'm not like excited for their solos, but I'm not as excited as I would have been for a 10 membered attention comeback. Yeah, TOP Media needs to not feed into the produce fans and just give them solos. I thought that Jin Hyuk's was just gonna be like a fan, like a whatever thing, like a, here, this is something fun to do while we wait for attention's comeback, but it's not like that at all, so yeah. I, I think I listened to M, what's their group's name? MCND's, the McDonald's group, as Katie calls them. Uh, MCND's song, and I thought it was okay. I don't, like I said, I haven't really been impressed by any rookies so far this year. So. I have not counted my albums recently. Yeah, I, I don't understand what I don't understand M countdown oh my god I should call them M countdown but Katie always calls them McDonald's so I have to I'm like it's stuck in my head I think I heard DKB too and I I like I don't know why I haven't been impressed by anyone this year it's really sad usually I have like a rookie group that I like by this point but maybe I'm just like so excited for Play M's new girl group and um, Bullem's new boy group that I I haven't been to McDonald's in a long time, to be honest, but um, I like their french fries.
Very, very. Um, I think very, very is okay. They're not a 2020 rookie, though. Yes, Play M's debuting a new girl group. They rumored them or, like, released a video of Chodong, like, watching them dance before A Pink's comeback and before they debuted that band and before Victon's come back, too. So they are in the works. I think there's seven members in the group. Katie's running out of space for albums. I hope that doesn't happen to you. I um, probably won't anytime soon. Oh, I want to see Golden Child in concert, too. Signature. I did hear one of Signature songs. I like how everyone's, like, quarantine has gotten me to, like, buy more albums. But I just keep being, like, I want, at least not, like, just for albums, for, like, everything. I'm, like, I want to get rid of everything I own. Like, is anyone else, like deep cleaning their entire lives or is it just me who's like why do I have all these things let's get rid of them so not for albums though I had already like picked out which albums I was gonna sell before yeah I have to post more on my Instagram see that's the other thing I think that's like putting me off of buying things is I know it's gonna take so long to arrive <laughs> that I'm like, eh, I don't want to. So I think both H&D's debut album and Kravity's debut albums were too much for a debut album. I don't care if you're from Produce Group. The fact that Kravity had three versions for a debut was too much like you don't need three versions for a debut album and the fact that h and d had like it was an expensive album um and that it had so many photo cards in it for a debut album i was like that it's too much like that's too much monster x debuted with one version <laughs> i think all rookies should debut with one or two versions anything more than two versions for a debut album is excessive in my opinion and i don't support it a lot of rookies that I get into have like one or two versions for debut because I feel like that is right. And for the first comeback, I agree. It should just be one or two versions. Like where are they going to go from here? Um, I probably, I mean, I don't know. Rent is pretty cheap around here recently, um, but I'm not working as much. So I don't know. I'm going to try to move out this year still, but I don't know. I wasn't really expecting, like, when this quarantine hit, I had paid off all of my concert tickets for the year and was starting to put money back into savings again, and then quarantine hit, so I, um, like, kind of hit a block in the road. I think Unbi and Chaewon will be added to Rocket Punch. A lot of people think Unbi will go solo under Woolim. Woolim is not great to their solo artist unless you're Sungkyu. <laughs> and Sungkyu's not even really a soloist, but yeah, I hope she doesn't go solo. I hope she goes into a group because Woolim's bad at promoting their groups, but they're even worse at promoting solo artists. So I really hope that they, she ends up in a group. I know that Amazon says things aren't arriving till the end of May, but I've ordered some things from Amazon that have arrived much earlier than the ex like expected arrival date. Maybe a duo. I don't know. I don't think it would be that weird because Two of the girls, or three of the girls in Rocket Punch were also on Produce. So I feel like it wouldn't be that weird. But I don't know. I don't know what Wilm's plan is. I never know. I've given up on that company. <laughs> what concert tickets do you buy? I was supposed to see AB6 in April. I was supposed to see BTS in May. And then I bought three tickets for Monster X. And then... 
I bought a ticket to the Backstreet Boys concert, which honestly might be the only concert I go to this year because it's in like September. <laughs> so <laughs> that might be the only concert I go to this year, to be honest, if I go to anything. And that Backstreet Boys concert was a joke because I was out with a bunch of my friends and they were like, we're gonna go to the Backstreet Boys concert this year. And I was like, I'll go, like, that sounds fun. So yeah. It was so random, but like they were my 90s boy band, so you know. And they're coming to my city. Like, I don't have to go anywhere. I have to travel for all the K pop concerts, but for this concert, I don't have to go anywhere. It's like 20 minutes from my house, so yeah. Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, I liked NSYNC too. Obviously, I didn't get into these groups as they were like popular, I got into them like late 2000s I was like for a moment very interested in American boy groups before I got into k-pop it was like a very interesting but very convenient transition because then I was like oh yeah these are just like groups in Korean they're not like like in sync or Backstreet Boys like it was was never weird to me so Alex, if this Mall Sex concert happens, you gotta go. Katie's going to the one in San Jose too. I don't know if LA will have one though. I don't know. I might still go to Phoenix just to go and see my friend. I'm not really that afraid of traveling come July. I don't think so, I don't know. But I don't know if I'm gonna wanna take much time off of work this summer, you feel? You feel me? Oh my gosh, everyone's talking about Big Time Rush. <laughs> That's really funny. Sup, fellow rushers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I saw that 127 were coming. Yeah. Katie's coming to San Jose. Yeah, she wanted to do the LA concert and I said, no, Katie, but it was Vancouver and then San Jose and then Phoenix, like those were the shows back to back. And then after Phoenix was LA. So um, she wanted to do Vancouver and LA. And I said, well, I don't know if I could like take that much time off of work. Also, what would we do in between those two shows? That's why I said we should go to San Jose and then I'll go to Phoenix. And so that's what happened. And I'm so sad because Katie and I had front row in Vancouver. We had front row tickets, like, are we kidding? Like, I've never had such great luck. I had three Ultimate VIP tickets and I might not get to use any of them this year. I'm so sad. But yes, you, if it's not canceled, you should go because there were still tickets available last I checked. Oh. I know. This year was supposed to be like the craziest year for K-pop concerts. Like, can we talk about how many concerts were announced in January only for all of them to be canceled or postponed? Like this was going to be a huge, like the biggest year for K-pop tours ever. And yeah. So I'm, upset i mean obviously health is most important i saw this tweet the other day and it was talking about like conventions and not about concerts but the tweet was like can you even can you really like realistically imagine being in a group that large this year when and the tweet was like I'm afraid to currently like walk down the aisle of the grocery store with another person in it. And I was like, that's actually me though, because every time I go to the grocery store, if there's another person in an aisle, I will like go to the next aisle. And I have masks because I, I mean, everyone has masks, but like not everyone, but a lot of people have masks, but I get masks from work because I work at a vet hospital. So we have like that kind of equipment, but 
I'm like, yeah, that's true. Am I gonna be in a pit with a bunch of people when right now I can't even stand next to a man at a grocery store because I'm afraid that I'm going to get sick? I have way too many nurse friends <laughs> to, to not take this seriously, so yeah. So it's fine, but I'm just sad. Yeah, can we go back to like, like remember when I made, I saw Monster Dex in LA and I tweeted the next day that I had peaked? I really had peaked. <laughs> really, really had peaked. The last group I stand, I feel like the last group I stand was Itzy. Right? Did I stand anyone after Itzy? I'm like, the only thing preventing me from standing the boys is quarantine to be honest. That's the only thing preventing me from standing the boys. I used to love going to the grocery store. I used to love grocery shopping. Like high key would love it. And now you get so excited to go to the store because you're like, oh my God, I get to go somewhere. But it is like, everyone is so sad at the grocery store. Like so sad. And then like walking around my neighborhood when I see another person, I'm like, oh my God, I need to cross the street and like get away from them. And yeah, my sister works at a grocery store. So like, ugh. but anyways, let's not talk anymore about that. But anyways, I want to stand the boys. That'll probably be the next group I stand because I'm like super close to standing already. But yeah. It's so packed here. My neighbors were throwing a party today. I w was driving and then I got home and I told my parents, I was like, did you know so-and-so is throwing a party? There's like 10 cars outside their house. And my parents were like, yeah, they do that every week. I was like, um, <laughs> they do? <laughs> it's, um, what? Oh, I hope you stay safe, Kelsey. My sister works in a grocery store too. And she said that it's been better recently and they have masks now. One of their um, coworker, one of her coworkers like made everyone masks, which was really nice, like cloth ones. Um, but yeah, she said it's crazy. I haven't been to a Walmart in a while. I haven't been to Target in a while. My favorite store is Staples I'm afraid to go to. It's just so sad. I go to my P.O. box with my mask on and I go pick up my mail and I see my favorite like employees that work in my P.O. box and they just like stare at me from six feet away and we wave to each other and I'm like, I'm so <laughs> what is life? Thank you for my packages, what is life? I haven't really been buying that much, but yeah. When do you think Wano will debut? I think he'll debut in like June or July or August. I think it'll be like this summer. I think we'll start seeing more of him like once Monster X's promos end though. Cause I think they'll start doing like something with him. Like he'll release a cover or something. Um, you haven't been outside since March 31st. I can't even imagine. Like even when I was like lowest amount of hours, um, I still was working like one day a week at least, but I know I probably should end this live soon and go to bed. <laughs> we'll go watch more Animal Crossing videos. Probably we'll do that actually for a little bit. Oh. Thinking about how we were robbed of an NCT Dream Target vlog. Oh my gosh. Actually, I don't think Dream's albums were going to be um, in Target no matter what. But yeah, no, I'm not going to stay up for the SM thing tonight. One, I didn't buy a ticket to it. And two, it's like going to be super late my time. So yes. Oh my gosh. I, I will. I will 
probably post pictures of it on Twitter and Instagram when I get it, when I get my town. I'm so excited. And I have so many friends already playing too, so I'm excited to go visit their like islands and everything. I'm so excited to get Animal Crossing. Like next Tuesday cannot come soon enough. <laughs> oh, it's A-Pink's last stage that that's right, their promos are only two weeks. I don't know if um, Monster X's new album is going to be in Target. I've been checking Target's website, but they haven't updated any, like, information on it. So, I don't know. Apparently, some villagers are better than other villagers. I don't really know that whole, like, thing yet. I'm going to have to do some research. But. I watched parts of Bang Bang Con. Oh, you're in Italy. I hope you stay safe. I hope everyone stays safe. It's scary times we're living in. Depends on their personality. Yeah, I think like once I um, get to like know them a little bit more, then I'll have like opinions on them, but currently I don't. Rain and Wano should collab. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? I won't want to, I mean, I would love to have him back in Monster X, but since this is the current situation, we should take full advantage of it. I want to see him collab with BM of um, Card. I would love that. I would also love a collaboration between Wanho and, gosh, I don't even know. To be honest, who else would be a really good collab with Wanho? I hope is like, yes, I think Monster X and Wanho should collab. I think that would be the best collab. I'm excited for the track list on Monday because I have this feel. I might be completely wrong, honestly, but I have a feeling that there might be a Wanho song on it. Listening to some of those backtracks, a couple of those songs sounded like Wanho songs. And there's no reason why they shouldn't use like a Wanho song because like he's under Highland Entertainment. Also, even if he wasn't, if he was under another random entertainment, it wouldn't matter. Like they can still get a song from him. Um, but yeah, I think, oh, Shonu and Rain would be good too. So. Yeah, I, I have this feeling that there might be a Wanho song on it. And the track list comes out Monday. And then next week we get teaser photos, which is exciting because I feel like Donkey and Wanho, can we talk about how in October Donkey and Wanho were supposed to meet and supposed to stand on stage next to each other and it didn't happen. I will never, ever not be upset about it. That was my moment. My moment for Wanho and Donghei and it didn't happen. And I'm so sad about it. Anyways, I think I should log off of this now because I've been doing this for like two hours or something. And I finished my photo card binder a while ago, but yeah, and there's also like, oh, there's no more tornado anymore. Oh, no, there is still a tornado. I turned on the TV just so that um, I would have like some additional light. That's the only reason I turned the TV on and it's on the weather channel. So that's fun. Yeah, it's been two hours. What did we do? We actually did a lot. I have been dreading that project for like a week now. So, yeah. <laughs> I love that big red blob over where I am currently. That's fun. It's gonna be fine. Anyways. I feel bad for my dog back home though. He's very afraid of thunderstorms. We have meds to give him, but for like storm anxiety, but sad. Anyways, that is it for this live. 
It was supposed to be on Instagram, ended up on YouTube. I'm happy you guys all came and hung out though with me because this would have been a boring project to do by myself and yeah. So I will keep this live up. It's probably gonna take a minute to be uploaded to the channel. So you won't be able to watch it probably right away. I would give it like a little bit, but it will go up on the channel. I'll make sure it goes up. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I know I don't do lives on YouTube very often, but I, I always say this, but I'll try to be better about it. Um, at the very least, I'm pet sitting here in a couple of weeks again, so I'll probably do a live then. And I know I haven't uploaded a video in like six days, but I'm really gonna try for tomorrow. So there should be a new video up tomorrow. It should be a haul video. I might go edit part of it right now. So yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you guys soon. Stay safe, wash your hands. Don't get run over by a tornado. Um, <laughs> all those fun things. Yeah, thanks for, there's a lot of you who like hung out the whole time. So thanks, I appreciate you a lot. Um, yes, look forward to more videos coming soon. I will try to get some things up for you guys. I'm just, I don't even, I don't have an excuse. I have no excuse. I'm just lazy. Okay, let's, let's end this now. Bye everyone. Have a good night.